All right, Hank, when a woman in rural Missouri learned she would need a specialized kind of breast reconstruction surgery, she set out to find the best place to have it, and she found it here in southeast Michigan. Tonight, she is hoping that her experience can help highlight the technology that we have available in our own backyard. Dr. Frank McGeorge with her story. Hi, Frank. Hey, Karen and Devin. So, you know, Kimberly Paulette is not afraid to travel for the best care available. She lives in the tiny town of Thayer, Missouri. Population, 1,900 people. But after being diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer, she did her chemotherapy four hours away in St. Louis, then underwent a modified radical mastectomy in Boston and came back to St. Louis for radiation. But when she decided to pursue reconstruction, her search brought her here to Corwell Health Beaumont in Royal Oak, Michigan. I know I'm gonna have to travel because where we live is very rural, very small. And my husband is fortunate to have good insurance with his job. Kimberly Pallette was just 40 years old when she was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer. And at my very first appointment with my new doctor, she walked in and nice to meet you. And I noticed you turned 40 in March, you need a mammogram. The diagnosis was a total shock. I didn't feel like I had any symptoms at all, and so no family history of breast cancer, no anything, wasn't anywhere on my radar. Adding to her worry, Kimberly and her husband Garrett had two children and were in the process of adopting a third. So I got diagnosed in August and we adopted him that October and then he turned two in December. Obviously you worry, like as a mom, you're there to take care of your kiddos, you know, and you want to be there to do that and you want to be able to do that fully. After intense treatments, Kimberly was cancer free, but she was still battling side effects. I had a lot of radiation and a lot of kind of issues with my shoulder and chronic pain there from that skin being very tight. That was one of the primary motivations was can they release that? Kimberly had not opted for breast reconstruction after her mastectomy, but she learned a surgery called a deep flap procedure could reconstruct her breast using her own tissue and potentially ease her shoulder pain. People do wonder like, how did you end up out here and how did you find this? And I'm like, you know, really never underestimate Google. Kimberly's research led her to Dr. Jesse Selper at Corwell Health Beaumont, who had pioneered a technique performing the operation robotically. I started doing that in 2019. I developed the procedure, wrote it up, had have uh, been using it pretty much since. Selber says using a robot to assist in the procedure dramatically reduces the risk of abdominal bulges when fat tissue is removed to rebuild the breast. First of all, there are no bulges, so zero bulges in the however 150 cases that uh, have, have been reported. And now we really don't notice much post-operative pain. Um, we can discharge patients earlier uh, and they recover better. I was really concerned with the, the downtime, the recovery time, and I thought, you know, if this can cut the recovery time in half and minimize the pain where I can still manage and do what I need to do to take care of my family, then I wanted to explore that. Kimberly was a perfect candidate, and in February, they traveled to Michigan for the surgery. Um, we did question a little bit, should we have looked harder for a surgeon in Miami if I'd known it was going to be in February? <laughs> I recovered and healed so quickly, more so than I ever could have imagined that I would. It's just made such a huge impact on how I feel every day. Being able to really kind of bring things full circle and feel like I can really close this chapter and move forward. Dr. Selber sees great potential in using robotics to improve patient outcomes. When you can do something better, by adding a new tool. It's exciting to develop that process, talk about it, spread that, but, but really, ultimately, this is about it being better for the patients. Seeing somebody like Kimberly, who, you know, pretty much popped out of bed the next day and was off to the races, a lot of people don't have that experience with this operation. For Kimberly and her family, it's brought a new appreciation. My first grandbaby was born right before I came out to have this surgery. It's not lost on me that these are the moments that I would have missed. Those are the moments that you don't want to take those things for granted. You can learn from anything in life, good and bad experiences. I've always tried to teach my kids that. You learn from everything if, you, if you're open and you allow yourself to. And the appreciation and the gratitude that I have gained from walking through this experience, you know, it keeps keeps everything in perspective.
Now, Kimberly is a wonderful researcher, but even more important, she isn't afraid to ask lots of questions and really take charge of her health care. Now, you can learn more about this procedure and Corwell's growing microsurgery program at the health page at clickondetroit.com. Now, of note, Corwell Health Beaumont recently researched, or reached rather, the milestone of performing more than 25,000 robotic procedures.